Hey, do you know how many times we review websites and one of the mistakes that people unfortunately make is they're not clarifying exactly what they do or how they can help out anyone that's come to visit them? Maybe you're a web designer, a freelancer, web agency, and you're putting together your first portfolio website or you've already got one out there. A common mistake is for people to say in the hero banner, hi, I'm Imran, I'm a web designer, and then they repeat that throughout the page and they don't have example websites on show or they don't clarify their services. These are mistakes you're going to make and a lot of people are going to leave your website and go elsewhere. What we've done is created a portfolio website using Elementor Pro. Uh, we have got amazing page speed on here. If you watched our page speed video, you'll understand how we've done it. Every page on here is 100% desktop score and every page is 100% on the mobile as well, except the home page, which scores 99%. Hey, I'll take it, you know, 99, that's pretty good. If you wanna know how we did it, go watch our page speed video, but when you go to the link in the video description, you will be able to download this entire website as a template kit, right? Elemental Pro template kit, you can download it and you can go and hack into it, mess around with the images, the layout or whatever, but what you're getting is something that I've put together to help you out. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron, and the reason we're doing this is mainly to propel your business and your portfolio to make much more of an impact and to clarify what you do. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, what we have here is a dummy logo and we've got a five page website, okay? This is our hero banner, and below it, we then have our second container because what I'm trying to do is get across that you can actually have almost in effect two hero banners on the page, but one of them isn't a full on hero banner. This is not a full on one at the bottom, but it's a reason I've done it. What you have here is a container with two child containers. The container number one has your headline, your subheader, two call to action buttons. The right hand side for container number two has two images, but the web image you have here is actually the container background image. Whereas the lady or the person of interest is a image widget. You might not have realized this, but if you create an image which is 300 or 400 pixels wide and you use that as your container background and you set it to be a cover, not cover, sorry, contain, you can now rearrange it. So if I say center left, the image would have moved over here. Center top, the image would have moved up there. So I can now have an overlap effect without messing around with Z index or having to put two image widgets on an absolute and fixed positioning. I don't have to do any of that. And by the way, if you download a template kit, you'll get all the settings that I've put in for the rows and columns and how this works and operates. Let's just focus on the wording, Bo. Grow your online community. I have not said, hi, I'm Imran Sadiq. I'm a web designer. I haven't done that. Grow your online community. I am trying to tell you the problem we're gonna solve because this has been created for consultants or coaches or even small businesses. How do you succeed? How do you grow your mailing list? How do you get word out there? Well, you need to grow your community, right? Your newsletters. So I'm telling you that's what we're gonna achieve. No guarantees, don't ever guarantee anything, but that's what we wanna achieve. And when I'm saying we're gonna attract new clients, we're gonna get a devoted following, and then I say tailored website consultants and coaches. Notice how that was not mentioned anywhere in the main headline. The main headline is what am I going to do for you or what are we going to solve? Then I reinforce it with some extra wording. I've made sure I've not repeated the words online or community or even the words grow. Be a bit imaginative with your words. By the way, all the words you see on here originate from chat GPT. I have tinkered with the wording, so nothing is exactly as ChatGPT gave it, but it originated there. All the words, the headlines, everything. It took me like three minutes. I started off with give me a headline about da 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 da, -da expand on it and expand, etc. And that's what I've got. Then we have two call to action buttons. Don't just say contact me, get in touch. Why are they going to do that? They don't know you. They don't really care about you, right? Why would they contact you straight away? Get, get them to go and look at your services first. And that's what this button does. It takes them to the services page. What do I do? You can also put get started today or get in touch or whatever you want for the contact, but have that as your second button as opposed to your primary one. You're trying to lead them in. You're trying to draw them in because once they click there, there's probably a higher chance they're going to like what they see and go, yeah, you know what? 
we're going to get in touch with this person. So make sure you put that into consideration. Now, I want to go back a step to where we had the image. Unless you are an influencer or you're well known, you know, and you just have to you put your face out there and people come flocking. Don't put just your face up there. Do you know how many times I've seen websites where they go, hi, I'm Imran, I'm a web designer. And there's a photo taken about two years ago in a park somewhere. And you stood there looking really, really nice or you're holding a drink or something. Or you've even got your friend photoshopped out of the photo, but you can see a bit of their arm. And it's been lifted from Facebook or somewhere. So it's a bit pixelated, a little bit blurry. Is that the impression you're trying to get? You're trying to say to people, hey, I'm going to give you an amazing looking website, brilliant, eye-catching, fantastic images, layout, all of that. But you can't even put a good image of yourself or something similar of yourself on the website. And if you can't do that, why are they going to want to work with you? Seriously, you have to think about this. So that is so here, I've kind of cheated a little bit by saying, well, we don't really know who she is. She's a web designer. But she's confident enough to put a picture of herself on here. Transparent background. That image was from Canva, by the way. I don't know who she is. I'm sure she's a great person. And then we have an image of a website. Another big mistake people make is there are no images of websites on the page. Maybe there's none for the first three or four containers or sections. Or there's none whatsoever. I do not lie. When we've done live chats on our Web Squadron YouTube channel... We've reviewed websites where there are no website images and I then get told, well, I haven't really designed any. All of the websites you're going to see on this page right now, okay, are all fake. All of them took me one, one and a half hours to build. I just created them, okay? And what I'm trying to say is if you spend a bit of time showcasing what you can do, whether they were for real clients or not, and they have been built by hand. None of these are templates, by the way. These are all been built individually by hand or my hands and my keyboard and mouse, you're showing what you can do, all right? So don't let that stop you. So we have uh, container one and we've got these items here. Container two now reinforces what we said in container one. We have an image, another website. I know this is not a consultant or a coach website. Let it go, okay? This is just to give you an idea of placement of images and stuff like that. You can make the images bigger, However, I want to make sure that the words breathe. I don't want the words and images to be too cramped up against one another. Let's elevate your consulting and coaching business. So I'm reinforcing what I've kind of said over here. Then it's like maximize your online presence, generate leads, build subscriptions. I can bring expertise in my customer-based approach to help you succeed. Active words. I'm not saying... I, I think we can succeed if we work well together. Don't be passive. Be active. Don't be forceful. Don't be, don't be like blase even. Don't go, yeah, we're going to smash this. Don't be, you know, over-expressive. Try and get yourself on the level of, these might be professionals who want to work with you. You've got to convince them that you're the right person for the job. Then we have what we offer, our services. Clarify it a little bit. Don't just say, we do web design, SEO, and page performance. I've reviewed websites where well, that's all you get. There's not even like a little miniature description. I mean, look here, find out more. We'll take them to the services page again, which clarifies and expands on this just a little bit more. But tell them a little bit. Web design will work with you to create a responsive and high converting website with focus on the aim. I mean, that's probably not worded amazingly well, but you can, you, you can jig it around. Boost search engine optimization, increase page speed insights, vitals, all of that. Give them a little bit more detail of what you do. Keep it clean. Let it breathe. Okay. Can consultants and coaches benefit from having a website? Why have I asked a question? If you go to Google and start typing, um, can consultants and coaches websites and see what Google gives you, it's going to give you a list of like sentences that are questions being asked of the Google search engine. Look at how they're ranking. Look at what they mean. Look how many people are searching for them. And if they're getting searched quite a lot, put it as a question in your website, on your home page. That massively increases your chances of being found in the Google search engine. You can't ignore that. Oh, and by the way, before anyone asks, this entire website is mobile responsive as well, okay? Remember, 99 for the mobile score and 100 on the desktop, okay? This website has been boosted to the max. Reinforce your words, professional-looking website, 
establish credibility, virtual storefront, allow you to attract new clients. We got a website, we got another website. We have more words. A website can make it easier to communicate. You can build a community of clients. Overall, a website can be a powerful tool to grow your business and connect with existing and potential clients. Can you see how we're drip, dripping these words in? We're dripping them in. Yes, I've duplicated the word client quite a bit without the website, but I'm putting it in a different context to the previous uh, sentence, or I've reworded it. I'm trying to get it into your head that we're the right people to help you. We have another container down here with a background image, again, of the person of interest. Some websites I've seen, they just litter the website with pictures of someone like that or whatever. Can remember, give us examples of what you do. Digital marketing is not just about reaching people, it's about reaching the right people. I got that quote off ChatGPT. I said, give me some inspirational quotes about digital marketing. Um, and uh, yeah, digital marketing. And it gave me 10 and I picked one. No harm in that, right? You know, and, and you can easily make this look good. And by the way, this is all built in Elemental Pro, okay? There's no other add-ons added onto it. You can go away and hack into this and mess around. Our feedback, you know, nice layout. I haven't got a testimonial carousel. You could add one if you want, but you don't have to overdo it. Some websites have got like 20 scrolling, like, really? Who's going to sit there and read all 20? Maybe two or three is fine, you know? you know, sentences, you know, uh, do do it however you want. I've given you an example, one with a name, one without, you know, I've even got like uh, the uh, the headline at the bottom. Headlines tend to be at the top, but look how different it looks at the bottom. It, it looks just like fresh, doesn't it? But it's easy, okay? Container with um, uh, inside this container, you've added a shadow effect to the container, then you drop in a text editor and a headline. Uh, and, uh, and and that's the way away you go. Then we get down over here to another container, okay? Uh, and this is basically a copy of what you had over here, right? It's just a copy. But all we've done now is change the image. Again, the person of interest, because that's who you're going to contact. And how about sign up for updates and special offers? So this isn't the full-on contact form, but why don't you sign up? Maybe you're not ready to contact me yet. Go on then, sign up, join my mailing list, right? And I'm telling you, special offers. You know, people might go, oh, I wonder what they've got. Maybe they'll make me a deal. You know, name who they are, social sharing icons. I haven't put them at the top because I'm now starting to very much to feel that when you put stuff like this at the top, there's a higher chance that someone might click it and go away from your website. If you send them to your Facebook page, they click it, go to Facebook, and then they spend time on Facebook, and then they forget about you, or they find someone else. So try and negate the risk there and maybe put them at the bottom. And then we have a footer, okay? Copyright, all of that. And then, you know, you fill in the details however you want. It's a really simple website, but can you see the messaging of what we're trying to get across? What happens when we go over to the services page? It's pretty plain. I mean, there's not many images on here. You could add some if you want, but all I've done now is start to expand on what we said at the front. So we've got our little summarized wording. It's a little bit shorter than what we had, so I don't want to make it a full-on copy. And then I've expanded on what you would get and what the starting prices are. Okay, so if you decide to get in touch with, let's do it, you know, you hit that and you go to the contact form now, you know where we start. Don't just say web design, I'm going to do all of this for you. Get in touch for a quote. What I charge clients will differ depending on the workload and what we decide we're going to do for them, all right? It all differs. However, if we make clear that this is where we start and the client's contacted me and goes, can we do a website for £500? And I know they've come through the contact form. I'll be like, we start at a thousand and you stick to that. If you want to negotiate, you're feeling happy and, you know, you're feeling kind, you know, go for it. That's up to you. But if you, if you say this is where we start from and then your charge goes upwards, people can't complain. The words from and what your baseline price is. Go and watch our videos on setting your prices and how you can scale up with a pricing ladder. Now, there's many, many ways that you could do this, okay? I've given it a full-on red background. By the way, this is all color branded as well. We've got global colors, a palette that we've put in place, and we've got global fonts as well. This is all using Lato. You could mix it around, okay? But make sure you custom load your fonts if you want to stay 
high on the page speed performance. And what do we have here? We just have now, again, do you remember I said, these are all fake websites. Look at this. I'm showing what you could have as an author website, music website, you got a fantasy one here, you got another sci-fi, look, a, a newsletter type one here, very simple, chic, boutique kind of website, luxury, show examples of what you could do for them, okay, and if they like it, they're going to get in touch with you, let's now go up to the about page, well, again, it's really, really simple, you don't have to go overly crazy, your home page and your services to an extent are really the ones you want to put the most effort in to make an impact. And can I just go back to the services page? You can build on this, all right? These are containers. If you want to add more services, go in for it. If you go to the about page, we have a title, we got wording, and we have an image. Okay, again, clear images. And you notice they're all fitting with the branding. I haven't gone for an image where she's wearing like a bright green shirt or jumper or whatever, because it might not fit the branding. Think about how your images reinforce your website, okay? Text image, image text, and a button for contact me. You could have added in social sharing icons if you want, and then we go down to the footer. Really, really simple. And if you start to get your head round layout and keeping things concise to the point as well, you don't have to go overly crazy. Don't tell us about, oh, by the way, don't say I've been building websites for two years. No. You don't have to tell people that. You don't even have to tell them you've been building websites for one week. What you need to show them is it doesn't matter if I've been building for 10 years or one week. I can do what you need me to do to help you, right? Because if like I ask someone to come and paint my house and they've only been painting for a week, but they are damn good at what they do, why would I employ someone who's been doing it for 20 years, but they're not that good? Just because you've been doing a job for so long does not mean you're an expert in it. Please bear that in mind. It comes down to skill, ethos, mindset, and how you put finger to keyboard on something like that. Let's go over to the contact page. And again, this is really, really simple, okay? It is just a contact form with an image of her on the phone. This is now the subscription form, literally the same form as what I had before. All I've done is change the image uh, added in a couple of links for a phone number and an email address. And then I've changed the subscription form to now contain more fields, et cetera. Okay. So this will now go to you as an email, but also at the same time, if you got the right API key and it will also go to your subscription list as well, you know, um, uh, and, and I just think this is amazing for me as a layout. It is very, very simple to do. Okay. But if you start to get into your head about the headlines, what you're offering, uh, what your services are, what your pricing is, you don't have to show your prices. But you know what? I am one of those people where if I'm looking for a service and I'm told get in touch for a quote, I lose interest because I feel like, right, I bet your price is going to go up and down depending on how you're feeling. Whereas if you tell me or give me a ballpark figure, I start to get an idea. And the web design for, say, a thousand pounds here, you could maybe clarify, you know, uh, for a one page website when you're talking with them. The client says, I want a 10 page website. OK, yeah, now we're going up to three thousand, whatever. But you've made it clear where you start from. If you like what you're seeing here, go away and build it yourself. You don't have to get our template kit here. OK, but if you want to hit the ground running, go and click the link, go and get the download, uh, download the template kit. OK, um, Install it onto your Elementor website or a WordPress installation and go and play with it. Um, I think this can help a lot of you who have been struggling with your portfolio website to just feel a lot, whole lot better. A whole lot better. I, can't, I didn't say that right, did I? You're going to feel a whole lot better, okay? You will. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. We right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.